Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories you're tracking for you on Monday the 24th of July. Parliament lockdown persists as opposition demands PM statement on Manipur issue. Anti-Sweden rally held in Pakistan to denounce Quran burning. And Taliban ban on salons compounds misery for Afghan women. And now for all the details. Standoff between the government and opposition parties continued for a third day in the Indian parliament over the Manipur issue. Beginning on a stormy note, both houses witnessed slogan airing by opposition lawmakers who reiterated the demand of statement from Prime Minister Narendra Modi and detailed discussion over the Manipur violence under Rule 267. The government in response has said it is ready to hold a discussion with the Home Minister replying to questions, but the opposition lawmakers are insisting for Prime Minister's statement. Altercations between Rajya Sabha's chairman and some lawmakers were also witnessed in the parliament, leading to suspension of AAP's MP Sanjay Singh. I am मेरा विपक्ष के नेता को आग्रह है कि चर्चा होने दे और इस महत्वपूर्ण मसले पर पूरे देश के सामने सच्चाई जाए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है डिमांड है कि 140 करोड़ का नेता अगर बाहर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करता है और 140 करोड़ लोगों के प्रतिनिधि अंदर बैठे हैं तो आप पहले यहां पर स्टेटमेंट दो उस पे चर्चा होने दो उसके बाद में हम लोग एक निर्णय लेंगे किस ढंग का इसको कैसा करना ये चलेगा well, several Indian states have continued to reel under floods and rain triggered water logging. Residents in Junagar town of Western Gujarat were seen assessing their losses as heavy rains and flash floods over the weekend washed away cars, cattle, and damaged property. Many parts of the state were waterlogged, leading to traffic jams and commutation issues for the residents. On Monday, a two story building also collapsed in the town, prompting authorities to call rescue workers as several were feared trapped till the last reports came in. और पूरा ये आंगन है उसमें भी एक कमर तक कितना पानी है और ये सब गाड़ियां टू व्हील सब ऐसे जैसे वो खिलौना है उस तरह जा रहे थे सब और थोड़ी देर तो हमें भी ऐसा लगा कि हम ये क्या अब कर सकते हैं सब ये ऊपर वाले के हाथ में है अब वो ही बचा सकता है हमें और इतनी कंडीशन खराब थी कि अब बात पूछो आप ये सब देख रहे Meanwhile, drone footage showed the Yamuna River, which flows through the Indian capital, New Delhi, swollen and flowing above the danger levels, which has increased the chances of another spell of floods in the capital. Rainfall is essential for nearly two-thirds of India's population, which relies on farming. But excessive deluge causes problems like floods and waterborne diseases almost every year. Around 3,000 protesters affiliated to Jamiat e Ulema Islam on Sunday took to streets of Pakistan's Karachi city against the burning of Quran in Sweden. The recent protest by the hardline Islamic political party was triggered after multiple incidents of the burning of Islam's holy book took place in Sweden over the past few months. The protesters in Karachi, citing the repeated incidents, urged for a total boycott of Sweden and demanded the government to sever diplomatic ties. According to Reuters report, burning of holy scriptures is permitted in Sweden, Denmark and Norway and is legally protected under freedom of speech. While the OIC, a multilateral body of Islamic countries, has called for review of these laws that prevent prosecution of religious hatred, Sweden government has maintained the country will alone determine its legislations and will not be influenced. And 
And as Taliban in its latest decree has banned beauty salons across Afghanistan, women in the country are pleading to remove the ban as it is the only source of income for thousands of them and the few remaining opportunities to socialize away from home. In downtown Kabul, in the final few days before their bustling salons close, makeup artists can be seen applying eyeshadow on their clients as a looming ban imposed by the Taliban takes effect this week. The order issued last month forces the closure of thousands of female beauty parlors nationwide and outlaws one of the few remaining opportunities for them to socialize away from home. According to industry estimates, more than 60,000 women are likely to lose their jobs and 12,000 businesses are likely to shutter. <laughs> Dozens of women staged a protest on Wednesday against the ban. The Taliban, in response, used water hoses and fired shots into the air to break up the protest. With dwindling options in the country, some women feel that leaving may be their only option, even if doing so comes with its own set of challenges. Well, Bangladesh recorded the highest number of dengue-related hospitalizations in 2023 in a single day, with 2,292 cases being recorded on Sunday, local media reported. According to the Directorate General of Health Services, at least nine deaths were also reported, raising the fatalities due to dengue to 176 so far. Reports suggest more than 7,000 dengue patients are receiving treatment at hospitals across the country. However, the health ministry has said the time has not yet come to declare a public health emergency. Dengue fever, which can cause intense pain in muscles and joints, is spread by a bite of the AIDS aegypti mosquito. It generally affects the patient's immunity by making platelets count take a dip, while also impacting liver enzymes. And Hindu devotees across India thronged temples to offer prayers to Lord Shiva on the third Monday of the holy monsoon month of Shravan. The Mondays of Shravan are considered extremely auspicious. Take a look. Thousands of devotees in India gathered at temples to offer prayers to Lord Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction, to seek his blessings on the third Monday of the monsoon month of Shravan. The Mondays of the holy month are considered to be one of the most auspicious days as per the Hindu calendar. As part of the rituals, devotees offer milk, bilva leaves and honey to the Shiva Lingam, the phallus representation of Lord Shiva. It is believed that praying to Lord Shiva during Shravan brings luck and prosperity. <laughs> Meanwhile, scores of newly wed couples visited the famous Durgiana Temple in Amritsar city to seek blessings. It is a tradition at the temple that women adorn themselves with floral jewelry during Shravan. During the holy month, married women also observe fasting on Mondays and pray for longer life of their husbands. Please, the unmarried ones pray to Lord Shiva to get a suitable match. As a new bridal, here is Shingar in Savan. So, I have been here with my family. I have been here with my family. I especially in Chandigarh. I have been Chandigarh. I have been here with my family. Especially in Chandigarh. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. It's the same time tomorrow. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.